What's up, everyone? Apologies for not posting for so long, but we're back, and this hiatus won't happen again. Hopefully. Anyway, this past weekend, my mom and I took a mini vacation into the countryside and stayed at the Cypress House Ranch Bed and Breakfast Inn. The inn is owned by the wonderful woman from whom I got my crazy dog. And for certain reasons, my dog is being temporarily babysat by her. Uh, she's the one who's having a seizure around all the other dogs. And so, while we were there, I thought that I'd get some footage and do a Thoughts from Places video, since this seems to be the kind of location one would do such a video at. And yes, I am a nerf fighter. DFTBA! So, a quick little tour of the place. My mom and I stayed in the spacious and extremely comfortable room 3 out of 4 rooms during our time there. After going down the flight of stairs, there is a cozy family room with very comfy chairs and couches. Adjacent to the family room, there is a powder room and, of course, the innkeeper's room, which is private. Across from those rooms is the gorgeous dining room, where we ate some delicious meals. And not to forget that the ranch is the home of the cats. Lots and lots of cats. Although I strongly protest getting up so early during the summertime, I mean, it should be a felony, we woke up at 7.30 and ate breakfast at 8 o'clock, so that way we wouldn't miss our very first horse ride, which would take place promptly at 9 o'clock. If there's a stereotype about country people not being punctual, then that's all it is, a stereotype. So after about a 15 minute ride up the road, I ended up here, on the back of Ricky, my riding horse and set out for a wonderful horse ride for an awesome two hours. We saw a couple snakes, deer, and a lot of banana spiders, which I found out are harmless, but nonetheless freaked my mom. After our horse ride, the saddles were removed from the horses and they were put back in their stables before being released back out onto the ranch, where they were later called for a little afternoon snack. And it was during this time that my mom said something that really made me think. She said, these horses, they really don't care about us as long as they get what they want, do they? And Miss Amy answered, no, they respect us, but remember, we're in their world right now. At first glance, it might seem that they don't care about humans, but just because they might not completely understand us doesn't mean that they completely disregard us. People fear the unknown. They are afraid of what they can't comprehend. But animals, they're willing to take risks and to put trust in others with the faith that they won't be taken advantage of because they have the right to be respected just as we humans do. And there's something to be learned from that. I also had this same thought as I met Willow, a miniature pincher, who at first looks like a vicious and insane dog until you discover that she's really just trying to protect her adorable puppies. It's not that she's being vicious, she's just doing what any mother would, protecting her children. People need to be more willing to look at things from different perspectives. Not a dog's point of view, per se, but to examine things from a different standpoint than usual. And just because people might not understand or agree, there should at least be respect about such views. Ignorance is the vice that leads to conflict. But as long as we have a desire to learn and understand, we can have meaningful discussions without turning them into arguments. We can disagree without being disagreeable. We can accept each other for who we are. Or, you know, at least try. Well, that's about it for my first Thoughts from Places video. What did you guys think about it? Let us know below. See you guys later.